Hello everybody, and welcome to today's video. Today we will be building the Reaver EXP farm, which is the one that you see behind me here. This is a really good addition if you already have an Ooze EXP farm, because we need Ooze in order to make this farm in anyways. Now I always advise that you have a few different types of EXP farms around your base in any case, in order to get you through the medium to late game, and just for enchanting, so having a couple is always a good thing in any case. And Chavaxi has um, balanced all of the EXP farms in any case, so not to make them completely useless, but to make them plausible within the game. And of course you will still have to pay the price every now and then of facing off with the Argus, which will kick your ass in any case. Right, so let's have a look at this farm, shall we? Huzzah! So, for those of you who recognize this build, this is very similar to my Cinder EXP farm. It's virtually identical, except we are working with these guys. So, we give ourselves a couple of slabs here. This is flowing water behind there, which pushes the items through to us. They spawn in the flames back there. 12 flames, yet again. Those are Frostfire flames, by the way, which we can only get from a Wendigo, which kind of makes this a bit more challenging to build, but it's still quite fun to build. They spawn there. We get direct line of sight with them, which kind of aggroes them. And between that and a mixture of their AI pathing, they plop all the way forwards, they go up, they get stuck in front of this block behind them which we build, so that when we give them a whack, they don't bounce all the way backwards. So we can just give them a whack from here, and voila. Get all the XP, the drops come on through, and we can pick those up. And they are a little bit stupid. <laughs> yeah, they are quite stupid, these poor guys. Uh, let me pop myself into uh, survival, just to let you see what I mean. If I stand here, they will try, bless their little hearts, to attack me, like so. And their projectiles barely ever hit me, and th this guy will hit me, however. Their projectiles barely ever hit me, um, and this guy. Because, for some reason, their projectiles don't quite come here. They hit this glass block, and they just look like complete idiots, bless their souls, trying to murder us. But they don't. Like, about one run projectile every 50, maybe, will hit you. And also, their pathing leads them up here, and they get stuck. They are bigger than one block, but their AI pathing doesn't seem to think that. So they will path up here regardless, and get stuck behind here. And let me just pop myself back to creative, because they're quite noisy. And yeah, that's basically how this works. They path up here, get stuck behind this block, we give them a whack. That stops them from bouncing back, we get our drops, and voila, that pops on down here. And that's about that. And there we go. Speak of the devil. There he is with his, how many? Six arms. Yep. There is the devil. So this is your price to pay if you use EXP farms, which is kind of cool. You know, instead of just removing them from uh, from the game entirely, we have these guys to kind of face off and punish us, which is good. It's good. Uh, drop wise, we are working with this. So they will get us snow, of course. They give us ice. They give us the cleansing crystal as well, which removes fear, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if that is actually usable, maybe in the future updates, but that's quite good. You get these from the defensive ones, the uh, the Arguses as well, I think. Drop them around, uh, nah, doesn't really matter. We also get the frost rod, which is cool, because we can make frost powder with that, in order to make yourself the, um, what's it called, the Aussie liners for your armors and so on, to protect you against cold and warm temperatures. And then they give us these charges, of course, which is useful for leveling up pets and also these bits. You'll get these reaver horns every now and then, which is a craftable equipment, which is a pike kind of doo-doo. Just gives you slowness, nothing particularly special there. And that's all the drops, just about. And this is what this looks like, yet again, pretty easy. And now I'll show you guys how to build this. And... Uh, well, yeah, let's do that now, shall we? Okay. Okay, so I've gone ahead and laid out the initial area. So this is where our farm will be. So you have to clear out the space and kind of make it look similar to this in order to make your build. So, we go ahead here and this will be the back wall. We'll fill this up later on. From here, one block beneath. Dig yourself out 12 blocks here. You can see my inventory there. This is where we'll be putting our snow. Snow you can just get with a shovel or obviously just craft them with snowballs, I believe. Anyway, get yourself 12 blocks of snow. This is because the fire, the frost fire, will only stay on these blocks and remain there indefinitely. Otherwise, they won't. So, we place our 12 blocks of snow all along here. 
And voila. Now from here we just go ahead and build ourselves a tiny little wall here. Like so. And then we build ourselves a second part here. Like this. Because our Wendigo will need to stay in here, which we will get to spawn in a moment. Uh, ceiling wise from here, by the way, this is why I, I left these couple here. Uh, this little thingamajig. You need six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then your ceiling. So if you're building this underground, make sure the ceiling is at least six blocks high from this here snow block. This is so that the Wendigo will be able to walk once we get him to spawn. Now next to this, put down a couple of slabs here. So right here. Two slabs. This is because the Wendigo, um, he gets stuck within his own ooze. Um, otherwise, he won't be able to leave that, so he gets stuck. Now then, you need eight buckets of ooze, which I have here on my hand. So this is why I say uh, this is a good addition to an ooze farm, because you need eight buckets of ooze in any case. So we'll be ma making a uh, temporary ooze farm here. Now, let's just trap him in here by doing this. Like I saw. Uh, uh, yeah, that should be fine. Now we go ahead and add our eight buckets, exactly eight, no more, no less, in order to create a temporary ooze farm right here. Be careful with your buckets, you only have eight. Make sure they look like this. And there we go, obviously don't double place them or so on. It needs to be eight ooze source box and looks like this. And then we have ourselves a temporary ooze farm. So this will start spawning mobs in a moment. So from here we just hang around and we wait for them. Um, it will spawn some Arixes, which is the, I think they're called Arix, or Asterix, whichever they are, the little cold flying dudes. They will spawn here. We just need to kill them. Um, yeah, kill them. Leave the, what's we call it? Um, the Wendigo alive. And this is because they will shoot bolts of fire, which will create a different type of fire, which is not the correct one, um, on these blocks. So we need to kill them first, and then only leave the Wendigo alive. And then we disable this by just... Well, you will be using a bucket, pick that up, I will just place a block or something, so we disable that and from spawning, and then we have to lure him across here, across these snow blocks, so that the fire stays there, and uh, well, yeah, we'll just do, ooh, lag spike, we'll just have to do that, and then I'll explain as soon as he has spawned, so I shall sit here and wait for him to spawn. Okay, just a quick change, which I've just noticed, we need to give an extra block here at the end, so where this block is, extend this wall by one more block so the Wendigo will actually get this last block. So give it one more space so there's a blank spot there, and then fill this in. Because the Wendigo, Wendigo's hitbox is 2x2, two two, so he won't actually get that block all the time. So just give it one more block there. Now we go back to here. Let me just re-enable this, and then we wait for them to spawn. Like this. And there they've spawned. Unfortunately, we didn't get a Wendigo, so we just kill these guys and wait for a Wendigo to spawn. Okay, and so we wait. Okay, there we go. We've got a Wendigo, so now we need to quickly kill these guys and then disable this farm from spawning anymore. Sorry, Mr. Wendigo. Okay, now just use your bucket to pick up a bucket there, and now we will just disable this corner. This guy's just a bit in the way, just go over there if you can. Skills me. He will not. I put a block there, and then just destroy it. So that source block is gone, therefore this farm is disabled, as there is now only seven blocks of ooze. Alrighty. So now we need to lure him across these blocks, so he walks over them in order to create the flames that we need. He will also fire a projectile, so be careful when we're doing this. If his projectile lands there, it will create like um, this liquid ooze and it will extinguish those flames. So you don't want his projectile to land anywhere around here. So let's pop ourselves into survival and then we kind of lure him around a bit. And it is raining, I don't want that. Let me just clear the weather because stuff's going to spawn. Go away. Okay, so you can see him firing. There's already one lit. And we need to try and do this as quick as possible because stuff's going to start spawning out of those flames. There we go. He's gone all the way. Now let's cover the tops of these. Let's see. Has he gotten them all? Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, lovely. And now your purpose is done. So we can go ahead, 
Whack him on the knees. Die. And let's just cover these last couple up. There we go. Perfect. So they don't spawn any reavers. Otherwise, they'll start spawning already. And we obviously don't want that. And now let me just pop myself back into creative. So we can continue the rest of the building. Right. So we can close up these walls. To make it nice and small like we want it. However, we do need to leave an air block here. So this air block here... Don't cover this up. Just cover this up. So in order for them to spawn next to the fire block, there needs to be an air block and an air block above. So leave a gap here. Okay, that's that part done. We can just completely remove all of this for now. We no longer leave this Usam. Just go ahead and you know, pick it up or whatever. Let me just do this for now. Glass, whatever. And then we close up these ends like so. Okay, doke. And now let me just get rid of this. Now from where these flames are, so they need two blocks above, so we just go ahead and build here. Minus that. Two blocks above, and then we build our little rooftop on top here. Cool. Fire, one block, another, so da -da, and now we two blocks from above that, so one, two, two blocks coming out, okay, and now we lift it by one block, this will be our little block here that they get stuck, well, like, kind of stuck, you know, that stops them from bouncing back, that's what this block is for, and that is that part basically done, it's starting to look like a farm already, so from here, let's come out a little bit more, Okay, now I want glass here. Okay, like so. That is lovely. This is where we'll be putting our water and we're putting our slabs here. So water block will be there. I don't want to put there now because water is going to mess me around. But we put a slab right here. Okay. And then one, two, three. Here we put some slabs. Seems about right. And from here, just do whatever you kind of want to finish this off, like so. Now let me get some water. Add it in there. Okay, there's our water to push all the items through to us. Here we have a nice line on the side, that's all they'll be spawning. Just want to double check everything, that seems fine. One block here, only one block space. Let's go ahead and remove these. And if I'm correct, that should be the farm completed. They'll start spawning at any point, whenever they feel like it. And that is that farm done. Let's just hang around for a second. Make sure it's working by staring at this for a while. And there we go. Our first customers have arrived. Cool. Now, in a moment, you'll see they will just start roaming and they will go up to the top like you saw at the start of the video. And we can go on and give them a good old whack. So we just hang around here to see when exactly I hate this weatherman. Stop it. Now, at some point, well, if we go to survival, then they will come up earlier. Never mind, I need the aggro. But yeah, there you see their natural roaming that I've mentioned. They're trying to fit through this one block. They can't because they are stupid. And we just give them a whack as we please. Die already. Alrighty, well, I don't need to give them too much TLC here. You guys can see it. It's working, items, blah, 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 so one comes through here, and that's all the good stuff, like I promised. Okay, the end looks pretty cool, blue flames, and oh, there's more, yay. Oh, a batch of five, nice, that's pretty rare. I've never seen them spawn more than four before, so, okay, that is a good note for myself. They spawn between batches of one to five. Good to know. Now, it's a little bonus here. 
uh, because you need the ooze farm in any case. I'm just going to show you guys how to build a quick ooze farm here because why not? It's really easy. So since you guys have already got the ooze, let's just go ahead and clear out some stuff here. Let's see, I want to put the ooze here. Let me just clear this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Now from here, just go ahead and put yourself slabs like this. Cool. Leaving one block empty here. This is where all ooze will be. Just one, two on top. Fill these two blocks with glass. Otherwise, they, they do float through one block. Has to be glass, by the way, or else they uh, will take damage from suffocation. That is a loud ass bird. And from here, you kind of fill this up if you want to. You don't need to fill this part up because the slab will keep them in there. I just kind of put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see if they flow. There's one missing in the middle. That one is not placed well. Obviously, don't you do that because you only got eight buckets. So place them carefully. And that's basically it. That's how you build an ooze from, guys. The reason for this is we can hit them in the ankles. Here, this block's line of sight. They will spawn with their faces inside the glass. We can kill them as we please. And here we have these guys doing whatever it is that uh, they are doing. Doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to hang around here for a bit and wait for these guys to spawn just to show you guys how easy an ooze farm actually is. But yeah, so you got this one, you got that one. Multiple XP farms is pretty good, like I've said. You can use them around the base to do your enchanting, which is mainly what I use them for. And there is about, about seven, maybe eight different types of AXP farms, I think now. Probably seven. But in any case, if you're doing this one, definitely do the ooze. You've already got the ooze. Why not get yourself double spawns and just kind of uh, bank on the increase of mob spawns, you know? And then deal with the Argus every now and then. That will probably beat your ass because they uh, are a lot stronger than they were in the past. Which is fair, you know. Rather than Shivaxi disabling EXP... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Rather than Shivaxi disabling EXP farms completely. Rather just kind of add consequences. Which is a good move, in my opinion. And, you know, they shouldn't be OP. You shouldn't be able to level up everything to level 32 from building one farm like, it, like the case was in the past with the... Zaffan farm because that's just that's just pointless you know why, why play the game if it's that easy to level up everything and you just have an ocean of exp from building one tiny farm so yeah just kind of vary the farms that you guys build and uh yeah that's basically all this is annoying me why is this not spawning they know i am recording that is why come on you little bastards spawn so that i can end this video And there we are. That took longer than I would have liked for it. But anyways, so there is our addicts. They have spawned as well. So you got yourself a double EXP farm on the go. Just hit them in the ankles like so. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing special. EXP comes through. And simple as that. There we go, guys. Those are your two EXP farms for today. Let me just kind of perch here, I suppose. Let me do the good old outro -y thing. With a cool-ass looking weapon. Perfecto. There you guys go. So... Thank you guys so much for watching, and this is Zerger saying happy arrow crafting, have a good day, and goodbye. Sweet. Cheers.